Let's create a rule in Outlook. I'm going to right click on any email I'd like and choose rules and choose to create a rule. Now if I already have any rules in here I can manage them which I'll go back to after I create this rule. So I can choose to always move messages from this particular user into archive, inbox, deleted folders, create new folder, or move to a different folder. Now that's going to automatically move email from whatever it is that you just right clicked on. Let's say you'd like to go ahead and create a brand new rule that has nothing to do with that particular email. So we can go to the settings box and then we can click on mail. So I'll click to add a new rule and I'll just say sensitive keywords and I'll click on select a condition and look at all these different conditions. I can choose what to do when I receive emails from a certain person to a certain person. I'm on the CC line. I've got a certain subject going on. Uh, we've got sensitivity, things like that. So I'm going to choose keywords and I'll say the message body includes certain keywords. And I'll say credit or loan and I've separated those by commas and a space. So credit, comma, space, loan. So if it sees those two words in an email, then it's going to do something. In this case, we'll go to step three, add an action. We'll say we want to either delete them, mark them as junk, or just go ahead and move them to another location. I'm going to choose to mark as junk, but I can also add an exception. So let's take a look at the exceptions options. So we can see that the exception is going to be from, and I'll say if it's from Al and Al mentions anything about a loan or credit, then we'll go ahead and allow that to go right into the inbox. And then after that, we'll say stop processing any more rules after this rule has been applied. Or we can uncheck that and have it go through the rest of the rules as well. I also want to choose to run the rule now and then click save. And there we go. We have our sensitive keyword list. I can go back in and edit it if I'd like. There's the edit rule option. I can add in additional keywords in the future as well. So that is how we create a rule in new Outlook.